Good morning guys, what's happening? What's going on? I hope you're all doing super well. Today we are here in Bath to explore some of the best coffee shops you can find here. Today we're partnering with YHA and we're staying in one of their hostels nearby this beautiful city. It's going to be a caffeinated day but I'm excited to show you around here because the coffee shops here are so quaint and so nice. Right, let's head to our first coffee shop. So we've made it to our first location, Hunter and Sons. Time to try the coffee. The thing is, this place is really good for coffee in the morning, some food in the morning, um, in the evening. They actually have drinks, so you can come grab a beer, grab a cocktail, you know, and just chill with your friends. It's a really nice place because it's tucked in from the main street. Time to enjoy this. Cheers. That was a very interesting coffee shop for sure. I think it's one of my favorites here in Bath that I've been to. It's time to head to our second place. Let's go. Right, we've made it to our second coffee location, Colono and Small. It's a great place. We got ourselves a Cortado. And look at how nice this looks. The really nice thing about this coffee shop is they sell their own beans. Inside is such an Instagram spot. I think at one point it was rated one of the best coffee shops in the UK. So if you're here in Bath, this is an old dish you must check out. The decor, the cups, everything here is quite minimal and quite Scandinavian like. And it's just aesthetically pleasing. Time to enjoy this and show you some of the coffee making. Cheers. Colonial Small, coffee shop number two. Pretty good. Bath, you're doing pretty well in the coffee shops. Time to head to coffee shop number three. So we've made it to our third coffee shop, Society Cafe. It is a great place for food, for coffee, for drinks, and it's actually a good place to just sit and do some work. So let's head inside and find out what it's all about. Society Cafe and got myself a little another flat white. What's really good about this place is it's quite family orientated so there's families here, there's people actually doing work here and coffee and bad. Apparently they do a really good hot chocolate and they also do food so great place for brunch, lunch and afternoon snacks. We are done with coffee shop number three. The staff in there are super nice. And actually, all these independent coffee shops, they are super, super good. It's different than going to like a Starbucks, a Costa, but enough of the chat. Let's head to coffee shop number four. to our fourth coffee shop called Picnic. I've never actually been here. There was a recommendation from the other coffee shops we went to, so I don't know much about it, but as always, let's head inside and find out what it's all about. Okay, I've 
managed to grab my last coffee from here. The thing is, this is actually a really good recommendation from the other coffee shops. There's a great atmosphere in here and it's very open and bright. When you're having a coffee, you can just people watch outside and just enjoy it. Staff here are great as well. So if you're in Bath, I highly recommend coming here as well. Let's enjoy this coffee. It looks like that wraps up the coffee tour in Bath. Hopefully you guys have really enjoyed seeing all the different shops and different cafes here. Let me know down below what you thought of this video. And actually, if you've recommended anywhere in Bath that I haven't actually covered, hit them down below so anyone that watches this video will know where to go when they come to Bath. I just want to say a special thanks to YHA for partnering with us on this video. And if you're ever in Bath and you need some this day, then I would say go to YHA. But yeah, today's been super fun, super caffeinated, and I'm pretty buzzing at the minute. But as per usual, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you then.